What's up everyone and welcome back to Top 5 Central. Today we're looking at the top 10 YouTubers who bought their parents their dream car. With that said, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for good luck so you can one day get your dream car. Also, I'd really like to know in the comments below what that dream car is. For me, I'd love to have an Audi R8, but with that said, let's get right into the video. Number 10, The Angry Grandpa. When you think about it, Angry Grandpa's family has to put up with a lot, from their technology being smashed up to the screaming to the constant pranks. However, despite all that, he still has a dream, and his family came together to make it come true for him. The grandpa's first car ever was a 1955 Chevy Bel Air, but when it broke down, it was sold away, and he had wanted one ever since. For Christmas in 2016, he was finally given another, and for once, he was made speechless with happiness instead of rage. Homework. Hey, Jacob. Last week's cool, they give him homework. It's the last week? Oh, for Christmas. Yeah. I'm saying car. I'm saying car. Listen, I told you that one day I was gonna get it for you. No! Merry Christmas. No. It's yours, man. That's the same car for Big Wick. I tease you with it a little bit. Oh God. Have a look at it, man. It's yours, man. Number nine, Christian Guzman. Most dads would be excited to receive anything from their son on their birthday, but Christian Guzman's dad got more than he bargained for. Christian was going on vacation for two weeks and he was going to miss his dad's special day, so he invited his dad out for a fun day of food and shopping instead. However, what his dad actually got was a brand new 2016 Cadillac SRX as his own car had 300,000 miles on the clock and was breaking down on the highway. As far as birthday presents go, that's pretty hard to beat, and on top of that, he couldn't stop crying and didn't even seem to believe what happened. And, uh, I don't know, I, I've always looked forward to the day where I'd be able to not provide for my family, but to be able to treat my family and treat my loved ones. And um, it's here. So. Uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, man, you're crazy to work. Wow. Like my Honda? <laughs> what? Hey, who is this guy? I told him over here. What? He's complaining. What? But he's over here like, uh, why do we need to be inside? What did he buy now? That's a lot Number A, Street Speed 717. Street Speed 717 is obsessed with cars, but in 2016 he decided to mix up his habit and buy a car for someone who really needed it. He had been considering getting a McLaren or a Lamborghini for himself, but in the end he decided he should give back to his mom and buy her the car of her dreams instead. Apparently his mom is obsessed with Mini Coopers, but knew one wouldn't allow her to drive safely in the winter and the alternative was just too expensive. However, she finally got her wish and she was so shocked she could barely even accept it. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Mom. <laughs> Look at her face. Look at her face. <laughs> Michael, you're ridiculous. This is, no, that's Michael. I don't even know what to say. That's just so ridiculous. That's for you. Mike, you, that, no, that's... Don't. You always wanted a Mini Cooper. Oh, yeah, but don't. Oh, well, go check it out. No. You can't give me a Mini Cooper. Oh. On the back. Oh, that's so cute. I just, I just can't even believe it. <laughs> like, this is just craziness. Here's your unlock button. There. Sorry, I'm shivering because it's freezing and I'm in short sleeves. But... <laughs> Do you believe Uncle Mikey bought a car? The key only has to be in the car and then foot on the brake and hold that in. <laughs> God, Mike, this is so... You ought to take a picture of the, the Volvo, man. I'm stepping up. So this is what she's... Number 7, Alex Wasabi. 
Okay, so Alex Wasabi didn't technically buy a surprise car for his parents, but what he did instead might have been even sweeter. Instead of just springing a random surprise car on his family, he took the time to take them shopping just so he could make sure they were completely happy with their choice. Even better, he made sure they ended up with a seven-seater so the whole family could go on adventures together. Even though the family insisted on a used car, they seemed incredibly happy with the BMW they ended up with, and they seemed even happier with the fact that they got to pick it out as a family. How much? Show me with your hands how much you love it. A lot. Yeah, I gotta see with your hands. No, I, I, that's the only way I understand. Yeah. Okay, let me see with your hands then. <laughs> Woo! Wait, no, I mean like, not how, no, what are you doing? <laughs> I meant like, like wide, wait. Okay, that much? Oh, okay, all right, well. Um, let me look. Yeah, I like it. It looks sleek. It looks clean. Mm -hmm. Um, it's that good. Good. What do you guys think? You think in this good. one? BMW. I like the Land Rover. Oh my Rover's gosh. Good with this. <laughs> this is nice. The B. I mean, they're both good. Yeah, we'll we'll both look at good. it again. But look at you guys just driving. It's like our Size parents. <laughs> if these are our parents, that means you makes you my brother. <laughs> oh, let's do it. Okay. Well, you know what that means. A family discount. <laughs> <laughs> He's really good. He's really good. When are you gonna apply to work with us? Number six, Faze Rain. Okay, it's one thing to buy a family member their dream car for their birthday or like Christmas, but it's a completely different thing to buy them one just because they don't buy anything for themselves. Faze Rain was hugely impacted by his stepdad as he was there for his family more than his actual biological father, and so he decided to pay him back in a big way. In the end, he decided on a white Corvette, a 263 LT Z71, as Roman Atwood just bought his dad a Z06. Most importantly though, the dad's reaction is super hilarious. Either way, let me know in the comments, if you could buy your parent any car in the world, what would it be? Did you see what happened to my mom's car, Al? You see what happened? No. Come, dude, on towards the back, some crazy shit happened. Towards the back, some crazy shit. Some crazy shit, shit Al. Or look what happened. We found your new car Surprise! behind there. <laughs> what do you mean? It's your new car. What are you, you crazy? No, no, it's your new car. Seriously, look. Here's the key. You guys are nuts. No, dude, it's your new car. Get in it. Congratulations. Can, can you bring your mom to make the movie, you know? <laughs> make the movie. Al, make it's your new movie. car. Go get in it. Oh my god. Go get in it, Al. It's your new Corvette. Happy, Daddy, and Mom. He <laughs> doesn't even know what to say. Go get in it. Go see it. Come on, Al. Out of you. I'm serious. It's yours. That's what we did. That's what, I, that's what I've been spending my day we were doing. For a car. You think we went to lunch, Al? <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> I love you, big guy. You like it? It's all yours. Oh my. Number five, Roman Atwood. Roman Atwood is another YouTuber who's going to miss his dad's birthday, as he was pretty much going to be on tour at the time. Instead of leaving him without a present, he gave him pretty much the dream present and took him to the car dealership to buy any Corvette he wanted. At first, because of Roman's habit of pranking people, he doesn't really believe what's happening, but eventually he comes around. When he finally does, you can see how grateful he is to get his dream car, and the smile on his face is better than any birthday present you could ever give anyone. <laughs> oh. We are here you know what? to pick out any Corvette you want. And I was gonna get you a car, and I decided it'd be way funner to let you come pick anyone you want. Oh, come on. I swear, I'm not kidding. Everybody thinks I'm joking. It's for you. And I'm, I am I, I want to do this more than anything, man. So we she just, knows that we, she's on her way, too. What? <laughs> Mom's on her way. Now, maybe I'll believe that if she shows, but she ain't here. I can't even get him to believe me. He doesn't believe me. It's incredible, man. Was I here yesterday? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying. He's trying to plan everything out, and he just says, "You know what? I'm just going to show up." And we it'll... tried to get a ton of red bows, but we couldn't get them in. So look at my mom and dad right now. They don't even know what to think, dude. Look at them. <laughs> Man, you guys look hot. Well, you know what? The seats starting to feel a little better. Yeah. <laughs> Number four, Zad. Most parents on this list have at least a moment of disbelief when they get presented with a brand new car, but Zad's dad took that to a whole other level. When his son saved up and surprised him with a brand new Mercedes for Father's Day, not only did he not believe him, he actually told his son that he was lying to his face. It took a lot of effort to actually convince him that he did have the money to buy it, and even when he was sitting in the car, his dad still had his doubts, but that seemed to be his own way of saying thank you. Yeah. 
आपकी झूठ नहीं बोल रहा आपकी गाड़ी है नहीं यार ये मुझे नहीं 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 नही
With that said, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.